This is like a little house on top of a roof. Look at this little place. I've never seen this before. There's also some really strange stuff out here. These shoes have a couple of steps left in them. And look at the rest of this place. It's the entire floor. But I think the best part might be the price. A thousand dollars per person to live here. building. This should let you know we're in a part of New York that I've never visited before. I think we're somewhere in Crown Heights. Okay, here we go. Rockaway Avenue. That's one of the close subways. This is Eastern Parkway. The apartment's about five minutes that way. But this does seem like one of those areas where you could find a good deal on an apartment. Just this. Where are you from? Where am I from? Yeah, me. me oh, I live in Queens, oh, but I'm not from here. I'm yeah. from Massachusetts. Oh yes, I figure you know. What does that mean? It doesn't. You don't. You don't look local. Really? To me, yeah. Corner flowers, boy. I am getting some small town vibes from a neighborhood in New York City. That doesn't usually happen. It looks like there's an inside, and then there's like a partial outside, maybe like a little greenhouse, and then you can get a car alarm over here after you get some flowers. Very convenient. There's also a ton of ambulance. Four of them over here, five, six, and seven down that way. I think that's because this is an EMS center. I guess all the reports of how dangerous it is here are fake, because how could these all be parked if no one needs them? There's also a 2,000-year-old church over here. Just look at that detail. You can't make that anymore. This is something I would get excited about, Dollar Tree. Look at that. You are going to save money on your rent today and on everything that goes inside the apartment. Across the street, we have someone washing a bus. And across from that, we have a Dunkin' Donuts, which says it's open 24 hours. We're in Brooklyn. How can that be the best option for coffee? It's not even coffee. Then we got ourselves a little tire shop over here and one, two more auto parts stores. Maybe this truck could use a few parts from the auto parts store. Man, what kind of hole makes that? I don't know. Very interesting. Nice, I found a restaurant. We got ourselves a little taco shop right here. This is definitely gonna come in really clutch. Man, then we got more tire repair. But this place is different. They've got some massive wheels. Look at how big that is. That's like heavier than my whole body. Sweet, and then over here, we got jerk chicken. Okay, between this place, which isn't open yet, and the tacos down the street, I think we're good. Then we got 99 cent deals, that's good. The Green Palace Restaurant. Their logo is a bird of prey. Is he a vegetarian? If you know, let me know. Great name, I've just never seen an eagle eating a carrot. Whoa, but check out this little place. Look at that, $7 barbecue chicken with chili sauce. I can't pronounce the name, but maybe they have pork. It's also a really small place. That means that whatever's on the menu, they get it right. Oh, nice, and this can be your coffee place. Appreciate it. Oh, it's really good. It's good, thank you. And the espresso here is only $1.50. They're telling me that might not last forever, but for now, $1.50 around the corner from where we could be living today. This is the building. Don't judge a book by its cover. There might be a business down here, I'm not sure. But look, it's really small and the apartments here are huge. If you wanna live here, I'll have all the agents contact in the video description. This is 
like a little house on top of a roof. Look at this little place. I've never seen this before. There's also some really strange stuff out here. These shoes have a couple of steps left in them. But what we do know is that somebody just moved out of this place. So once this gets cleaned up, it should be really awesome. I just wonder how long some of this furniture has been here. But look, it's quiet. We're not really surrounded by tall buildings and we're getting zero street noise. So very interesting. And look at the rest of this place. It's the entire floor. It's got three bedrooms, two bathrooms. I was hoping we'd get laundry too. And this is a $3,000 apartment, so you can live here for $1,000 per person. Now the common area here is fantastic. It's 31 feet from end to end. And from my bike to the front door, we're looking at 10 and a half feet wide. L-shaped couch in the corner. And then right over here, you could have an entertainment center or your dining table. I would probably go with the dining table and then put the entertainment on this end. But what's strange to me is this is where the cable wire is in this little corner, so somebody had their TV there before. They also had a massive bird cage, so I don't really know if we want to copy them. But it is a fantastic living room, definitely the biggest I've ever seen for 3,000 bucks in New York. A basic kitchen, but it's a big one. Lots and lots of counter space. Big stove, big microwave. I don't love the position of this fridge, but I'm glad it's full size. Where else would you really put it though? Um, okay, hear me out. If you were to put that in this corner, then you could have an actual dining table in the kitchen and you could reach the snacks from the couch. There is a bathroom just off the living room. It's pretty nice. It's a full size bath. Tub is big enough to actually use. And even though this has a really simple design, I see everything. Look at the size of that medicine cabinet. It's hard to open too. First bath was over there. The second bath is over here. Also very, very similar. It's just a different shape. I think all the finishes are the same. For a thousand dollars. This is an excellent bedroom. Dimensions here are nine and a half by 11. We've also got two big windows. Now these are facing a busy street, but we're getting lots of light and they're pretty quiet. I also see it comes with some curtains. That's a feature. Look at that, it comes with a free floor lamp. That's handy. Plus there's even a light inside here so no one can hide in there and scare you. Now let's compare this room to this next one. It's a little bit smaller. We've got the same view. The length is the same, but it's seven and a half feet wide. That's enough for a queen. And this room has a closet that is double the size. So if you really want a lot of storage, this one might be better. That being said, considering the price range, this is still top of the line. Now those two rooms, they're all the way down here. If you want a little bit more privacy, this last room, it's a little bit different, but it's also about the same as what we just saw. The only difference here is we're facing the backyard, so there's no real view other than what we see here. This would also make like a good home office since it's by the kitchen if you rent this place and it's just two people splitting it, or if you're here by yourself. Subscribe if you're not, and then pick another video up here or here. I'll see you in the next one.